Good day, everyone. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a Cape Pure Mathematics Unit 1 question in module one of the syllabus. All right. Module one is basic algebra and functions, and we're focusing on reasoning and logic. Okay. So today, we have our question and we're focusing on reasoning and logic. But before I get into the question, let me just remind you about some basic things, okay? So recall that P implies Q is what we call a conditional statement, all right? And Q implies P is what we call the converse. All right, you just switch around the, the P and the Q here in the conditional statement, you get Q implies P, that is the converse. And you also have not P implies not Q, and that is what we call the inverse of the conditional statement P implies Q, all right? And also, if you switch around the not P and the not Q, you get not Q implies not P, all right? And that is what we call the contrapositive of the conditional statement P implies Q, okay? So you should remember those. Now let's just get into the question. Now the question says, let P and Q and R denote the following statements about a triangle, ABC. P says the triangle ABC is isosceles, Q triangle ABC is equilateral, and R triangle ABC is equiangular. And the instruction is that we are to translate each of the following statements into an English sentence. So the first one, we have Q implies P, all right? And from up here, you would recognize that that is the converse of the, the conditional statement P implies Q, all right? In part two, we are to find not P implies not Q, which we know is the inverse of the conditional statement P implies Q. And in part three, we are, we are to translate Q if and only if R. Okay, so that double, con that double implies sign is if and only if. Okay, so let us get into the question. So I'm going to know, right, part one, solution. All right, and we have Q implies P as the first part of the question. Now, the conditional statement right, is a if then statement. So Q says triangle ABC is equilateral and P says triangle ABC is isosceles. So Q implies P is going to be if triangle ABC is equilateral, then it is isosceles, okay? So let me write the solution here. So our statement is if triangle ABC is equilateral, all right? If triangle ABC is equilateral, then it is isosceles. Okay, and that is our solution for part one of the question. So we're finished with part one. Part two, we are to find the inverse of the, the implication statement, P implies Q. So we have not P implies not Q. We know that P says that triangle ABC is isosceles. So not P 
would be triangle ABC is not isosceles. All right. And Q says triangle ABC is equilateral. Okay, so not Q would be triangle ABC is not equilateral. So the implication statement now, let me write it here. So we now have part two solution. So the statement now is going to be if triangle, all right, so if triangle ABC is not isosceles, then it is not equilateral, all right? It is not equilateral. And that is our solution for part two of this question, all right? So we are finished now with part two. Part three says Q if and only if R. All right, Q says triangle ABC is equilateral. R says triangle ABC is equiangular. So Q if and only if R is going to be triangle ABC is equilateral if and only if it is equiangular. So let's scroll down. All right, part three, solution. Okay, so our statement is, so triangle ABC is equilateral. All right. Equilateral. If triangle ABC, triangle ABC is equilateral if and only if, if and only if, it is equiangular, all right? And that is the solution for part three of the question. However, there is also another way of writing this same statement, all right? So we were given, let's go back to the question. We were given Q if and only if R, all right? Let's write that down here. We were given Q if and only if R. Now that statement is logically equivalent to Q implies R, all right? And R implies Q, all right? That is another way of saying this the same statement, Q if and only if R. So using that, all right, using that rule, I'm going to now write an alternative way of saying the same statement, Q if and only if R. So I'm going to write Q implies R, all right? That is going to be if triangle, if triangle ABC is equilateral, then it is, Equiangular. All right. If triangle ABC is equilateral, then it is equiangular. And that is for the Q implies R. Then now we have and. All right. So and R implies Q. So that is going to be if, if triangle ABC. So if triangle ABC is equiangular, so equiangular, all right, then it is equilateral, all right? And that is another way of saying the same statement, Q if and only if R, all right? Using the fact that 
it is logically equivalent to Q implies R and R implies Q. Okay? Good. So that is the solution for part three of the question. All right. Part uh, three of the question. So that is our solution for this question. All right. This is reasoning and logic in module one of the syllabus. If this video was helpful for you, please ensure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also share this video with your friend. I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.